So where do we sit? Come on, Kasper. You go in the middle. Le lead, lead the group. <laughs> no. Yeah, I go in the middle? You can go in the middle. Okay. All right. Nice, nice table. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas Under the right? cameras. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Kasper, tell us the story, please. Which story? Uh, story, some story. Tell us some story. I mean, we're having, I, I think it's maybe the first time we, we're sitting together with you, like on the dinner. We yes. never had dinner together, so maybe it's the first and last time, so we may. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try, let's try one good wine. If, he, if he's with us, I'm, I'm drinking. You don't like wine, you don't drink wine. Yeah, it, it has to be very, very, very yeah, sweet. If not, I don't like it. Yeah. We can ask for a sweet one. Sweet. And sweet? Uh, no, yeah, I know him. it's horrible. Huh? You and if you don't like, <laughs> you don't drink. That's the thing, I, because yeah. that's the only wine I can enjoy. Actually. The sweet wine? Yeah, okay. I know it's horrible. But you know which color? Red? No, white. White. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it does not change anything. This is the problem. It, it does not change anything, at least for me. I mean, maybe high performance people, I don't know, but uh, for me, the <laughs> high performance people. <laughs> no, but honestly, like, I, for me, it doesn't change. I still feel uh, the same, the same, like, you, like we mentioned. For you, the same, no? Yes, it's true. I don't see a big difference. I don't see any difference, except I lose joy of life a little bit, you know? But this feeling, I don't know if everybody, everybody has this feeling. Maybe, no. Because I have some friends, they don't drink at all. I don't know these people. I mean, I don't, I don't trust these people, this is the problem. <laughs> or maybe because they don't know the feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough to trust these people, you know? So I trust you. <laughs> yes, and I trust you, you know, because... Casper? Yeah, Casper is also drinking, so we trust Casper too. Yes. <laughs> Tonight only. Zero, Tonight. Zero who? Gael, Morphis. Zero. Do you collect wine or not? bottles? Oh, I, I try to start, but the problem is there is an occasion coming in. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you I drink have, it at, I have at drink home? <laughs> I have at home maybe a uh, box like this with a, with a magnum inside. I don't know, eight or ten liters of one French wine winery that they gifted to me. The big, like, you know, present bottle yeah. of Magnum. And I honestly, I'm not sure if you can dr open it because the cork is like this. Okay, yes, I see. And I'm not I sure you can, something. you know, do something with it. But I have it at home and somewhere in my, uh, between my tennis rackets, you know, <laughs> just as a reminder of a good life. <laughs> when you open it, uh, let me know. Yeah, but there has to be an occasion, as we, as we mentioned. It has to be a certain occasion to do that. Monfils, you said? Zero alcohol. Grigor also. I mean, I know this kind of people, but they has, but at least they tried, no? They didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, no. I don't believe that. Never tried? No, 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 no. This, is, uh, this one I don't believe. At least once you had to get a sip and then you said, okay, it's not mine. This I understand. But you get a sip, you get a glass, of course. I mean, we've all been 16 years old, right? I mean, what you do when you're 16 years old? You try things, you... For example, I never yeah, smoked. but everybody is different. For me, for example, I never smoked in my life. But I tried once, and I, I didn't like it, and I never touched it again. Do you celebrate something on the 6th or no? Yes, uh, we have it. The Not religious families on more. The sixth? Yeah, because sixth of January. Sixth, the, that's our Christmas. Yeah, I, I didn't know. So yeah, in, in also our for the Spanish, I think. I think in so. Spain, I, I think. But my but physio, my physio is Spanish. He celebrates twenty fourth. I think well. they do both in Spain. Okay. Oh, that's so better like, uh, to be Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I think six is the day that the three kings came or something with gifts. So okay. yeah, that's the story. I think. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. For us, for Christmas you? is sixth. Yeah. Twenty fourth. Yeah. The evening. Evening twenty fourth, twenty fifth. Yeah, we don't have to do anything, on, or we don't open gifts. We open all our gifts in the evening, 24th. Okay, and usually, like, traditionally, it's 25 in the morning, right? Or something. In the States. Depends, depends the family. In the Some States. families, they yeah. do 24 the night, 25 the uh, morning. We do both. We do, like, 24 the night, and, uh, because it depends with which family you stay in the 24 and which family <laughs> you stay in the 25. No, but it's true. Everyone does different. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but 25th in Norway is not like very important. Like in the States, or I think even here in England, they, they open everything of the gifts on the 25th in the morning, I think. Like, you know, this in the movies, because they the kids is, running. Because 25th is Christmas. The yeah, yeah. They have Christmas Eve, 24th, they have a big dinner, and then they go home, we, they we wake the up, same. and then the you same. open. Yeah, okay. No, for us, is we just we cook all day on 31st. Oh, really? Cook all day. All day, god damn. What do you, you know? serve? Well, all these sort of salads which you, you will never touch, probably. It's all so heavy, all may mayonnaise and all these sausages and... Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, but we cook it ourselves. So even now, like, I remember when we went on holiday, so it's been, what, I think 11th of November, we already start talking how we're going to prepare for it. So what we're going to do, who we're going to invite, what we're going to do, what we're going to cook, how many people. So for us, especially when I, uh, when I stay home, like very few times I did in the past, I think, 10 years. Ooh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> you probably overheard our conversation, huh? <laughs> But the, the but the problem is in in, in, in singles you can't just sure. win accidentally win a slam and then stop playing, in doubles it happens. Yeah. In doubles it, it happened. Yeah, every it happens a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, I've been into the finals of the Roland Garros, huh? Yeah, this. Uh, <laughs> imagine if I would win. Yeah, imagine, huh? I, you were like this, huh? Yes, I and no. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was what, what does that mean? Yes, six four five four thirty all. What does that mean? Uh, it Nerves? was like too much pressure. Nerves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a lot. The thing is, I like, remember. It was and it was with uh, one Golubev. 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 Against with, um, two French guys. Mahout Herbert Mahout. Herbert. Herbert Mahout. French Open final. Yeah. Serial. A little blue whole match. We were listening to this. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, no. It was 6 4 5 4 30 all. Ooh. And. And you served or the other? Yes, I served. So second serve to 25. <laughs> Golubev missing the volley. <laughs> like from here, and then so I'm serving. Serve, two, three, five? Yes, yes. I told him I'm tight. I'm going to serve two, six, two, two first serves, and then I'm serving a double fold. So he made a mistake. I made a mistake, and then at five all, when we lost, I came to him and said, "We don't deserve to win the final. Fuck it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to play." And then we, and then we quit. But this is because you were tight. No, too much pressure for you. No, I mean actually no, because it was be because it's five all. No, I, I I told you what. Yeah, just one tie break and you can win. Yeah, but I'm not like this, you know. I'm, I'm and you, <laughs> yeah, man, you know it is also. I'm when not you like are this. so close to win, I know, I'm and not after you say, oh, okay, I have such a chance, and. Yeah. I know, I know. No, 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 for me it's like this. For the first match on, so I, I mean, I'm not longer with the same with the same sponsor, so I can say, so I, if I would win the first match in doubles, I had a shooting the next day because I lost single, so I had I had a, I have mandatory shooting. So, so you say let's win, and so I say let's win. So I don't want to go to shooting because shooting was somewhere far. Yeah. So we won the match. We played. We played against some local French wildcards, so it was fine. Second round we had, uh, I think, Kulhoff. So good, good doubles, like 13, like 13 combined. Like they were like three or four seed. So and then also Stuttgart's coming up, the grass. So yeah. I, got, I have to get ready, you know. And I say, Andre, okay. Basta. I don't want to play. Stop Basta. it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and then he said, "Okay, okay. So we just go on court and we just, you know, just play like this. Yeah, just play. Yeah. So we we don't. And we see if you win. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So we go there. We start winning. I said, so happy. No, 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 so no. no. I, said, I said to my coach, I mean, if we win this match, then there is day off, so I cannot go to Stuttgart. So I said, come on. And we're playing against Kulhoff and Royer, or Roger, I think, Royer probably. And I said, come on, guys, I want to change over. We're winning a set. I said, guys, can you please start playing? I have to go. I told him. You and can't I, say that. I can't. There's too much pressure for them. I said, guys, <laughs> you're number two. He's the guy, five, seven, you say that, and after can you, you beat play us? Full? I, said, I, said, I, said, I said, please, can you beat us? Can you please beat us? I have to go. <laughs> and so all match, I was complaining. We lost the second set. I said, good job, good job. Continue like this. Then they start missing. Yeah, but uh, they do what they can. They cannot. They were nothing. They crazy, no? No, but uh, I mean, they, 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 I don't know what they say. I was, I was pissed at them. So because we went to the third they, because round. Because they lost. Yes, we, we went to the third round. In the third round, we had, we had some other guys, you know, some good guys as well. And I said, Andre, we cannot. I have to go. I have to play tomorrow already. Let's pull out. He said, no, we have to play. It's slam. Well, I said, okay, okay, let's go on court, but I'm not going to try. We start winning again. I say, can you please do it? I mean, go cross. You cannot play volley. Go cross. Do something. I need to go to Stuttgart. So and, and with this, yeah, but I can feel the pressure for the other but team. The, but the like thing, they feel the like they, you are not full, and at the end you win and you play. So at the, at the end we arrive at the same final six four five four, serving for the match like this. Like and I'm, and I was so pissed because when we lost the final, I played. That's the only match you wanted to win. Yes. <laughs> this is the problem. And, and the, 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 I was pissed so much. We lost uh, to in the finals. Next day I played Jeremy Chardy. Hello. <laughs> in uh, first round of Queens. And you won? Yes. <laughs> but at the end, it was good memories, not yes, to be the good, final. Good. The but after that, I stopped playing doubles. I got no, pissed. you played in oh, Wimbledon. No. no, I played like this, you know, mm. <laughs> just to get a re just to get a feel of the court. Yes. But I stopped. I got pissed, and I said because I had also semi-final in Australian Open, and we were up three-one in the third set. Oh, nice. Yes. The other. So year. semi in. Uh, semi in Australia and final at the French. Wow. Yeah. So UTS in Oslo. Yeah? Yes. That's nice. going to be good. Home, no? Yeah? You're both coming? Or? Yes, I'm coming. I don't think so. I hope you're coming, Benoit. We'll take you for dinner. You can have dinner at please, my place. Please, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. We will please have dinner at my place. <laughs> organization. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're behind the scenes, huh? Yeah. Listening to us. No, but it's going to be good. First big tennis event in Norway, ever. So nice. We never and had anything. you have like a stadium, big stadium? Yeah, soccer stadium. Soccer stadium? They're going to put inside. Yeah. 
And we're going to have people, you think? For now, it looks pretty good, honestly. I had a lot of people asking me for tickets, of course, but um, I know that they sold. They didn't sell out, but they sold more than I maybe thought was realistic in a way. Mm -hmm. But okay. How, How many it? people are in the stadium? You know, uh, during the football match, I think it would be like 12, 13,000. So it's the biggest indoor stadium we have. So maybe for tennis, they can put like five, five or six. Six, yes. Probably. I think they put the. Um, Smaller. I think they will put the tennis court. If this is the football, they would put the tennis court like this, like nice. in one of the corners, and then they have this one, and then they so will build something. So basically, like they're doing in Miami at the Masters. No, in because the, in, in Miami the, they put it in, in the, the middle. middle. In the middle. In the Mi Miami they put it here, but I think they will put it this yeah, way. Yeah, you you have hard, and you can put like something. And then you just build something on this nice, side. Nice, nice. And you have like lounges and around. So I think. Yeah, I think it will be good. It will be cold if you come. <laughs> right, right, right. We came to Norway in uh, yeah, for Davis Cup. You know, you know. I've never been into in Norway. It's nice. Nice country. Yeah, it's nice. It's a pretty, pretty country. It's um, small. We're only five million people, so it's very small. So it's him, Holland, and Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you choose the indoor or court? Fast for UTS? Oh, no, 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 for, for, Davis Cup. for No, Davis because Cup. it's the only thing we have. I mean. Um, I mean, bring clay, and I don't know. Ask too expensive for the federation. We don't have expensive to do clay courts on. A we don't have any money. The federation, tennis federation. So, but I, that's the place I practice every day when I'm at home. So in a way, I maybe should have beaten him in a way because I, I know the court, I know the surface, but I'm, of course it's fast. So it's you, much faster you really than here. beat him like in East Club. Yeah, 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 you did. It's like it's like playing Rafa at the, at the and Chatrier. Manacor. And no, Manacor. no, it's in Chatrier where Uncle Tony was building yeah. all the holes. You yeah, know? yeah, almost. So he almost knows where to put every time you put the you, you, Rafa serves. Uncle Tony says, "Not here, yeah, yeah. ten centimeters yeah. here, please." Yeah, yeah. I, I make I made the hole the other day here. Almost the same. Yeah, <laughs> that was a big match. I big mean, match. Yeah. Honestly, yes, it was yes. to go to World Group. Uh, playoff to go to World Cup. Yeah, they so were 2 1 after yeah. the first three matches. Yeah, so if I, if I win, it's a deciding match. Yeah. And then if not, they and win. And we had, one. yeah. Score? Six, three one. 6 4 in the third. No? 6 4 in the third. Uh, it was only in two sets? Yeah. yeah, it was not best of five. No, best of five. Best of five, Davis Cup. To be honest, it was so good. <laughs> but he doesn't. No, but you don't lie. But no, I like five sets, but not at Davis Cup. I remember five sets. I played a couple of matches five sets. I never played five sets. But in five sets in Davis Cup. But in when France, you were playing at in home, Argi in Argentina, home was in Argentina really France, or in Chile, so good. Okay, yeah. maybe they don't support you. They are for sure for the guy, but it's so good. <laughs> it's very different. It's but totally it's di different. It's like different. Like I played. We played you last some year. Match, Chile some Chile. memories match. We we played Chile in Chile last year. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do it again. <laughs> Why? Well, every don't you play some another South American we, we, team? We play Argentina in Argentina. Ooh. But it's good. What's good about this? So what are you gonna do the the clay swing or what after to stay? No, I go for the Montpellier. <laughs> <laughs> don't care. I'm not Come staying. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Montpellier. I go Montpellier, <laughs> UTS in Oslo. Okay. Rotterdam, Doha, Dubai. Probably. Okay, okay. Yeah, because it's right after the Australia, the Davis Cup. So we yeah, play we Chile in play. Chile, and now we play Argentina in Argentina. Yeah, but. Yeah, good memories. When you raise your head and they and they show you everything they think about you. Okay. They threw bottles at us. But this is tennis, also <laughs> this is good. We all complain, but there it's absolutely normal. They shout. They sh I played Challenger. Even 175, I played. I played 175 in Phoenix in X and Yeah, but this X. is big Challenger. But still, this I year? played the guys 150. This ranked. year? Yeah, yeah, because I, I lost in the first week of the Masters, so I decided yeah. to play, and then I did the same between Madrid. I lost to Rune. And then so I went to play X. To X was close to Monaco, so I was, yeah, I was nice. playing. And it's tough because they shout in your face so about Terrible. your transition. So and then you, you don't want to play. You're like, what the hell is happening? Terrible. We're playing for seven points, uh, seventy-five dollars, and what, what and is it's happening? And it's not to be arrogant, but at the end yeah. you say, but please, man, stop. Yes. You see what I mean? Like, yeah. So I uh, see it. I see the exit exactly on the tour as well. Sometimes I see what what what, what are we doing here? It's first round of 250. Relax, please. It's all good. Relax. So I think for you it's impossible to play challenger. Ah, I work hard. No. But <laughs> you know, we, we have so. a tradition with my team because I'm. I think I did what five, five or five years in top 50 or four years for sure. I think five because you were 55 and I was 56. I think. Oh really? 2019. One because year. 2019. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? You know how I know it because you were last in the ATP Cup. Oh. <laughs> Before Norway was year. the first year. Oh. Norway was last in ATP Cup. You played ATP Cup? Yeah, yeah. We and we, we were first out. So probably you were, I was about 56, 55, okay. so you were yeah, a bit yeah. higher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and then 
Every time we have a tradition after Australian Open, because I have never passed the second round there, I lose to everyone I possibly could lose. We check the challenger calendar. I told my coach I cannot play. What should we do? And we check. I say, okay, I go to uh, Vinetze, I go to wherever, Capri Crazy. to play. Crazy. <laughs> Every, it's always a stress for me. Yeah, but when, we, you, when you have no choice, you have to go. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I was not expecting to play two years in a challenger, but. Two years already? Uh, no, one, but uh, next year is another year. Another year. Ah, but what, two challengers in there, no? You never know, like, it's tough. I play Numea again. No, but after Ro after we played in Rome, I didn't want to play you. Oh, but you know what I tell my coach? No. Because I had Madrid, Rune second round. Yeah. Uh, R Rome, I had Shelton and him. And then Roland Garros coming out. Because you beat Shelton. Yes, I beat Shelton and I played. I lost 7-6 to Rune. I lost it was seven, a nice six. match on Clay and Org and yeah. Shelton. Yes. <laughs> in, Clay could play you. Yes, <laughs> a lot of rallies. Yeah, tough, was tough. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and then I lost to Casper 7 6 in the third. Yeah. And then. Crazy match. And then crazy, I. Crazy, crazy, crazy match. And then. I won the first set in what, 17 minutes? Yes. Six, six years? He was too good, huh? Yeah, of course. No, but it was. You the were same. totally full. No, no, no. <laughs> first break and no, no. He go, go to sleep for the rest. <laughs> but I mean. Waiting for the second set. <laughs> yeah. uh, so and then I'm. And after? What is the draw? 7 6 in the third. 6 yes. 4 for him. He was serving really well in the second set. He broke me at 5-4, was fighting, like grinding. Yeah. yeah. And like then I do maybe two mistakes. And, yes. and you get stressed, like, what is he doing? <laughs> I <laughs> Why he played for the I best line? I don't know. He hit second maybe. serve, 5-4, yeah, yeah. second serve. So I hit the winner, 30, love 30. So basically, first two points, I hit some winners. Yeah. Love 30, he serve. I step in on the service line, line on the second line. serve and wait for him. He serves double fall, stadium goes yeah, bananas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And because in Italy they love him, yeah, so it it's like, uh, it and then you are love for it like this, you know, like, oof, what is going on here? And then I choke or miss or whatever, and then the second set was seven over. Six, yeah. And then chances in the third? No, seven solid, six in the third. Yeah, but solid. We no, yeah, no, no, no had breaks. breaks, no breaks, no. It was, and it was I I actually played really well in the tiebreak. Tiebreak was good. It was like. Uh, I was stressed, like, because I lost second round in Madrid and I had, like, semi-final to defend in Rome and of all the Roland Garros coming, so I was like, fuck, yes. I have to win this match. And for sure you and think then, about it. And uh, then I played some unbelievable passing shots, actually. He came to the net in the tie-break, was, yeah. was a bit lucky. And then, and then Roland Garros coming. You like the condition in Rome, no? Rome, yeah, I, I did semi-final three times there, actually, okay. in Rome, so I prefer that one over Madrid. But uh, Madrid is just too fast for me. And for my return, it's just because you, with your kick, Hello. Man, he killed me like in Madrid. <laughs> six one six zero, six yeah. six zero. <laughs> but Where? when I was not thinking, I was playing full. <laughs> it's always a problem. No, but but I think at if, the you, end, if you at want the end to do six one six, I don't ask you. I said I was but watching. I did not know him too much. I did not know him too much. Yeah. And I said, okay, I check video, yeah. back end. Okay, you can play. Nothing happened. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I said. I was thinking. Yeah. I played him. Kick, playing like okay after a return, four one full, but we were playing on a small court. Yeah. Outside, honestly, indoor or outdoor? Out, no outdoor. <laughs> so honestly, you can see him impossible. He was playing on my four one. I was like <laughs> destroying. Yeah, six two six zero, no? Yeah, something like that. But you remember the, the the court behind us? First was uh, Roger practicing, and then Rafa came after. So the stadium was crazy. Was screaming. Yeah, but it's crazy. But even <laughs> not crazy about me. Eh? No, <laughs> but I mean the, the court next to us yeah, was, yeah, a practice remember, court was a practice for court the big one, the, yes. big, the big players. 6 2 6 0. <laughs> Quality of Madrid, not first one. Celevi? I said not bad, good draw, like uh, Kasper Ruth. I don't know him. Like <laughs> so maybe he, but it was not his first win at least. Huh? Uh, no. So good. Is that the year we played quarters? Where? In Madrid? No. He, is, he beat is, me in Madrid is, as well in quarters. Quarter 2000. in Madrid? Yeah. <laughs> this is 2019. What do you expect, huh? 19, huh? I think it was 2019. Against me? Yeah. Because this was 2021. Yeah, 21 we played quarters. Quarters. Who did you beat on the way? I don't remember. I had, I had a good draw. Very good draw. I had Fuksovic, Shapovalov Shapo, yeah, and Karatsev. So, okay, not clay quarters. So, at least we can play the, yeah. quite the same game, you know? So, I had a good draw there, yes. And let me finish. So I see the draw of a French Open. <laughs> this year? I, yes. Okay. So after all of this, I see Kasper in the second round. I come to my course, I don't want to play. I say, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to win this match, and he's going to choke me under <laughs> Philippe Chatrier, 6263, 62. I mean, and then the match came up. I lost first set to Zipieri, 6 love. <laughs> yeah. Big they fight. But they put, me, fight, in the huh? they put me 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. They Time to wake up. up. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I said, okay. <laughs> then I win 6 4. 6 4. I had like 15 break points in the, in the fourth set. He saved them all, 
And then I said, uh, grazie mille. Arrivederci. Ciao. 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 Arrivederci. And in the fifth set, what was it? 6-4, something like this. You know, so fighting. Yeah, but you know, you know, so sometimes you know there is this match. <laughs> Not like the first set. I don't know, Casper. You tell me. You're, 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 you have better results than all of us. Tell us. Do you have this feeling sometimes? You play and you cannot win the match. You know, like you play, you have all the chances in the world, you cannot finish this match, and then you feel like okay, the match is slipping, is like going out of your hand. Yeah. It, like you know, sometimes you play, you have break points, break points, left 30, 15, 30, all match. You win the set. You're leading in the second set without the break, for example, and then you feel like okay, um, you start losing from you like left 30 on the break point, break point. You cannot make it, and then you feel like the match is going away from you. Like slowly, slowly, you realize. It's and you are thinking, if he has one chance, for sure he's going to do it. Yes. Do you have this as well? Or it's only us? Because I'm, I'm sure Beno has it. Me, so I have, because I, I have some chance in, and at the end, love 15, oh, on I myself, I said, okay. Oh, I in this you, game, I'm for sure I'm going to lose. I'm for sure, I have too many chances, and this uh, one I'm going to lose. Yeah, I'm playing Carreño in Monte Carlo, third round. Uh, at, at, at Monte Carlo, I'm winning 6-4. They were crazy win. They put us on court 47. Upstairs there, you know, when they put clay on top of the Terra Flex, some, some court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we play on court 47, after the rain, and it's windy, oh my god, Madonna. We're playing, I'm doing some crazy, like underarms, you know, what I can do against Carreño, you know, it's yeah, tough. But he's in form, and he's, he's in form, it was before his injury, it was 2021. Or it was last year, no, it was last year, I think, 2022, it doesn't matter. So, I'm playing, I'm leading 6-4, I'm breaking him the first game, and then I have, you know, for the second break, chances, you know, blah, 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 all this. Six, four, five, four, I'm serving. We have a couple of points, you know, like. Yeah, tight, well, tight yeah, point. Yeah, not like, yeah, he's playing better than me. But I'm winning because I'm doing some crazy shots because, of course, he's more stable than me. And then I'm, he's breaking me. Then I have, again, chances at five all to break. Then there is a tie break. I'm leading the tie break. I'm losing the tie break at the end. We are crossing uh, after the set. I'm pissed. So much, and I'm telling him, if you break me in the third set, but you talk every time to your partner. No, no, I said, I said, if you break me in the third set, I walk <laughs> off the court. So you he broke your first game. You no, <laughs> no, he broke me at three all. I shook his hand and walk off the court. Yeah, but he knew. If he, he just yeah, had but to break I mean, yeah, of course pressure, I have to keep my. I have to, to do the break. <laughs> I have to keep my word as well. You know, sometimes I'm, winning. I'm not sure if a lot of players would do that. Would keep their word, huh? If they say so. No, that's true. Yeah, but. Not too many players you know will do the same also. You know what You're my coach said? Guy, Alex. You know, you know, you, you know my, what my coach said. <laughs> he said, like, you know, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't pull out, I would, I would not uh, be happy with you because if you said you pull out, you pull out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but until three three, he was like. I was fighting. I was yes. fighting yeah. like crazy. Yeah. But it doesn't feel the same. Look. Yeah. But no. okay, he was he was close to be number one. You were what? One match away from being number one, no? Yeah. Last year at the US Open. That year you won how many? 11 to 50s? <laughs> no, that was not that year. That was 2021. Five. It was five. 11 to 50s. What do you have? Kids, Burg, Stadt, uh, Buenos Aires, Cordoba. You're going to say all the clay go to No, it was it's true. Well, yeah. 2021, I won uh, Geneva. Uh, Geneva. And then I won the three Marrakech. in summer. No, Marrakech. No, no. Marrakech. I actually Monte Carlo. I actually, no, no, it's it's impossible. So okay, we're talking about eleven to fifties. <laughs> I won, and then Bostad, Gustad, Kitzbühel, three in a row. Mm. But then I won San Diego ah. on hard court. We had this conversation in the locker room right, in the gym a few days ago with Berrettini. Yeah. How? Tell me. A few me, days a, ago, where in Monaco? Monaco, Monaco okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> I guess I guess it was two days before, two or three days before. <laughs> we had this conversation, and we're talking about you know how to maintain this. So imagine you win the tournament. How many turns have you won? Three. Okay, me too. So after you win the tournament, you want to enjoy, right? You, yes. You want to say, you know, you want to enjoy the moment. You want to, you know, relax with your trophy and think what you have done, which is, I think, because winning an ATP tournament, it's something yes, big. Yes, it's it's something big. It for, it stays in the for history. For someone, no more. Yes, it's, it, and it's also for us. You know, it's a dream. So how can you keep up the energy if you win one tournament to go for another one? We had this conversation with Matteo. How and is mentally, this? Mentally. No, no, no. But you win the tournament, you have to enjoy. The job's done. You have to, you cannot play the next day. You remember when we played in Basel? How you want me to play? I won Antwerp. I played him next day. Yeah, oh, it was a good match. Though. One set. <laughs> One set was a good match, yes. Yeah, but for him it's different. So that's why I'm asking. So answer answer the question, please. <laughs> we we need to learn from you. you no know, free coaching lessons. I. I'm 34 you know. years old, man. I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 
Some of the people no, think no, but they... this is interesting. Yes, but yes, it's yes. the same for Nadal also. When I don't know. Nadal is not sitting here, huh? Yeah, but it's the same. But he was he was on a private jet with Nadal, so all <laughs> December last year. So um, for me, I just do like after the victory, I do like 24 hours where I enjoy, and then after that, you know, it's back to business. But what is enjoy? Yeah, no, just like a good dinner. Uh, I don't go to a party. I mean, there's no point for me to go to a party or no, whatever. No, no, yes. Just a good dinner the morning after, a very nice breakfast. Maybe I have whatever, pancakes, whatever. What I like to have, if I can. And so then, but you then, then you pancakes. have to travel. No? So usually you don't have pancakes? <laughs> Not every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm no, just trying to... Yeah. Because I won Halle. When I won Halle, I needed a week to realize. Yeah. I needed a week, okay, so I won the 500 event. I beat top players. I'm good, you know, I have to continue. I have Wimbledon coming up. But the thing is, like, I was drained. Like, yeah. I, if you put me against the guy who played tennis, the same, I would not be able to play. Even though I was good in a good shape physically, but mentally, I'm out. Same yeah. in Antwerp. I needed one week, you know, to, to realize, okay, you, you, you won, what you have to do, how yeah. you can continue doing the same things, you know. So, of course, we all want to play better. We all want to win. I think we yeah. don't have the same goal. Yes, probably. What is your goal? His goal is to be number one. So even if you win a 250, for me, what I think, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think if you win a 250, it's nothing. He has yeah, but to do you win want to be number 250 one? and after? Yeah? Yes, oh, okay. of course. He was close to be. Yeah, but maybe it's, it happens, you know, sometimes. You, if you win a 500. <laughs> it's good, no? It's good. That, that's what it's good for him. He win a 250. It's, he doesn't say it's good. He say, have you won I have to win more. No? Okay, maybe he doesn't know it. Ah, that's true. To win. Ah, that's ah, why. Ah, that's why. Ah, this is the point. Just yeah, I don't know this. Yeah. <laughs> this I don't know. I don't. I will probably never know how it feels to win the 500 on grass. So oh, you will have this forever. You never know. Huh? You never know. No, I will never know. Then no, probably. no, you never know. Oh, you maybe, never know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, grass is going to be open in the next 10 years, huh? Because uh, and not to play only golf. That's what you said there. <laughs> I remember. Don't say uh, something. Yeah, probably you're right about the goal. Because no. our goal is, is completely we are different. different goal. Yeah. I don't know. I. Everybody has a different goal. No, but these guys, they have... He wants to be number first one. Time. So he has to and not only that, I, I'm not sure that if, if the ultimate goal is number one, but you know, because number one, and then it's weeks counting. This is another thing. So you never stop. That's why? Yeah. Yeah, but that's why first Nadal time I won, it was difficult to only do like one day because you get so many messages and blah, blah, blah. You want to see this, you want to see it, what, do everything like uh, and enjoy. But then second time I won, a tournament it was Geneva so it's right before Paris so I didn't really let myself celebrate because I just flew the, the same evening to Paris and be ready yes so because, after, the is because Paris already at the end. yeah because already from that second time I won a tournament was like I got the experience to have to go really fast to a new place and regroup but I don't know I think like to me I do I do typically do like two, three weeks off in the summer after Paris. So that's like the period that I really look forward to. So after six months of playing, I'm like, oh, now I'm going to really enjoy like at least one week of just doing nothing and relax and rest. And I'm going to do whatever I do up to that point, I'm going to enjoy. But my time to really enjoy is after Paris. And for you, maybe it's after Wimbledon. I don't know when you take off in the summer. But well, for me, it's sometimes, you know, because we never know when yeah, we're going to this is, this Sometimes is the we lose first one, we just yeah, enjoy this week. This is actually like... <laughs> we That's are, a difference. That's I'm not sure how you practice, but I'm now trying you know, to practice like they are practicing in terms of you know, the concentration and focus. But the thing is, when you are coming, because I've saw like a couple of guys, like top guys, the results, like imagine you're losing up until Indian Wells. Yeah. You have like, someone made like 45 points up until Indian Wells and they're not panicking. No. They don't care. But it's me, so long. If, yeah, but... As well, like it's too long. Yeah, but still, you, then you go like bam, 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 three hundred, three thousand points. Yeah. For me, it's a uh, Benoit because we understand each other. Because sometimes you start the season, you're like, okay, what's gonna happen? But you lose, you lose Auckland, you lose, o <laughs> you lose Auckland. You lose Auckland. You're gonna play uh, <laughs> Segovia. <laughs> so, no, I actually, gonna I do? never did it. But uh, I'm, I'm younger than you, so I'm, I, I might have it in the future. I hope not, but. Yeah, so for us it's like this, we lose and then we say, okay, you come to Australian Open, you have, uh, I mean, there is a lot of unseated, because I'm seated now, okay, but you have a lot of unseated guys who you can easily lose to. Yeah, yeah. Then you lose it's Australian the same Open, for everyone, no? then, no, not really, not really, I mean, I usually, 
Like you cannot lose for the first round of Roland Garros. For everyone, except I'm sorry, for but uh, I don't want to break your rhythm. But you cannot lose the first round of Roland Garros. How is this possible? And even if he lose first round of Roland Garros, he knew before he won too many matches. Yeah, on he play. won. He won Rome probably. Yes. Yeah. So he doesn't <laughs> yes. care. So okay. I mean, doesn't care for us, huh? For you, it doesn't yeah. matter. For so me, instead matter. of at the end finish five, he will finish twelve. Oh, big problem. <laughs> no, but <laughs> it's different problem. But yeah, yeah I agree. But it's more easy for them also because they are very good players to make a very good calendar. Yeah, that's true. Because you, you know during the you summer want. you have three weeks. You can choose anything. So for yeah. us we don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe at the end if you don't play good you have to play week and yeah, week yeah. and week and week. I so know. because they are better players. Yeah. When I won Antwerp it was not a big celebration. Nothing. But uh, still, but then I got you again. I got in the rhythm. I'm not seated at 500, I have him in the first round. Yes, it's indoors, yes, of course, but you have better chances, but still, yeah. you know, yeah. give me some wild card, you know, who's going to yeah. kill himself. Please. I lost a wild card in the next round, Stricker. Yeah, but it's not a good wild card, it's not a good example. Huh? Yeah, but he plays well. But yeah, I don't know. I think also reaching I final think in think the slam, because change, then you are there for two weeks. Change your mind and everything. Yeah. Because but you, you have, have a lot, now you have three already. Yeah, but you are there for like almost three weeks in total. In the end, you just want to go home so bad, but you're like, come on, one more day, one more day. So then if you win a 250, which is only one week, it's like, this is nothing compared to yeah, because slam. You have because you different different of winning, 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 yeah. winning for three weeks. Load. Yes. They rest play, they rest play, they rest play for like uh, uh, two weeks. It's, um, it prepares you well for... What was the best result on slam for you? Uh, last 16. So it's fourth. Where? Everywhere, but not in Australia. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah, two times Wimbledon. And uh, my worst in my life was uh, Nishikori, Roland Garros. Roland Garros. Five I, sets? I won Lyon the week before. Was five Roland Garros. sets been on or four? Five, or five sets five. before the match. Oh. Five, three in the fifth. What happened? How many double faults? Too much pressure, to be honest. Like, yeah. It was not tennis at this time, I just couldn't play. He played a good shot, 30-15, uh, I think. Like shaking in the hand? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. And I at home, you know how it is, like... Yeah. People like, no, Lenglen. You all prefer Lenglen, right? Yes. All the French prefer Lenglen. For the Lenglen. crowd, for everything. Yes, we all feel like French much more Lenglen. closer than people. How much would you pay to win, uh, to pay for four aces at 5-0? 100,000? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> A lot because it was to play Nadal in quarter. Ooh. And to be honest, I, I just won Lyon the week before, yeah. was feeling confident, yeah. and I was not feeling too tired. Okay. To be honest, Which year uh, was this? it was like this, uh, 2019. Oh, okay. Nishikori, yeah. Yeah. And because 7-5 I lost. As we said, 5 all, I said, okay, I can't win. <laughs> no, but I can't win. I felt it and I said, okay, yeah, I can't. And you have three slam finals, right? Two US, one US Open and two... Two French Open. This year as well? Yeah. <coughs> Luckily enough, this year. Who did you beat? First year in Roland Garros was Silic. Good draw. In Roland Garros. You know, no offense to Silic. Not no offense to Silic, <laughs> but come on, it was the first time he made the semi-final also yes. in Roland Garros. Yes. If it's hard for this... He had, play, he had yeah. Rublev in the quarters. Rublev in quarters? Yeah, Silic beat Rublev in quarters. Because, um, and no, but Silic beat Medvedev in the fourth round and then Rublev in the quarters. Yeah, but this because time Medvedev was, was so good to beat Medvedev. Medvedev was second seed in 2022. He was second seed, okay. same as this year. And he, uh, he lost to Silic. So in a way, you can say Silic had a good draw to no, no, play. Uh, sure. to, and then he beat Rublev 10-5 uh, in the tiebreak in the fifth, in the quarters. Crazy match. But still, he played unbelievable. I watched the tiebreak because he was playing before me. And then I play Runa in the quarter. Runa beat Tsitsipas in the fourth round. Yes. So then we played the quarterfinal, and then I played Silic. In the uh, US Open, I beat Berrettini quarterfinal, Kashanov semifinal, and played Alcaraz in the final. Expecting, you were expecting to do final like in US Open on hard court, to be honest? Crazy, because Practice. I was there for one week practicing before. I lost every set in practice. It doesn't matter who I played. I lost every practice. It was too fast for me. I had no chance to play. And then, quite good draw first round. I played Kyle Edmund. He was coming back from injury, so he wasn't playing the way he can play. And then second round, I played Van Rijthoven. 
but he played quite well that summer. He won that grass tournament, yeah. didn't ah, he? Yes, yes, okay. Um, and then I played. Holland guy. <coughs> huh? From Holland. Then I played Tommy Paul in the third round. Tough one. Five sets. And you were feeling better and better? Yeah, every day, every match. Because after beating Tommy Paul was 7-6-6-7-7-6-6-7-6-0 in the fifth. For me. So after this fifth set was like. I don't know what happened, but like something just clicked. Like I could hit every forehand wherever I yes. want, you know. Like you, you know, are feeling the ball like yeah, it? unbelievable. And then I played <coughs> Mute, fourth round. What the hell is this draw? Yeah, except I know. Tommy. <laughs> I know. <coughs> I'm listening. Except Tommy, but Tommy was at the time. Tommy was 20, right? So he was not 12 like now. I was lucky because Tommy played first round. He played five sets with Zapata, and then the second round he played five sets with Corda. So in the end, I felt like he was a bit tired, and I had the energy to go in the fifth set, you know. So Mute fourth round. Fourth round. That okay, who is quarterfinal Kachin? No, it was Berrettini. <laughs> Berrettini. I'm sorry, no offense again, yeah, but, but look, Berrettini. Ah, okay. Berrettini quarterfinal. I played so good. I won the first set, two sets, six, one, six, three. Like I was, like I said, I was just hitting yeah, you every, were every shot. Yeah, After like fifth I was set of three to Yeah, I was returning crazy and playing so well. And then semi-final with Kashano, I was more nervous, but it was four sets. I played well and then final, I'm not going to say it was close because it was four sets, but it was one all and I had two set points in the third set to be 2-1. Against? Alcaraz. Alcaraz. <coughs> so you never know, but this one was uh, one, if you one I was close. To one is totally different the match. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I was 6-5 in the third set and he was serving. Uh, I had two set points. He played well, he played aggressive and I uh, two winners. Not good, huh? But and then I played a bad tiebreak. It's good, huh? And then uh, Roland Garros this year, I played Rune again in the quarterfinal, and then semi-final Severo. So, honestly, I can easily say I had fairly good draws in, no, in every... No, but not, everyone is good. It's but impossible to yeah, make semi final and say every no, time no, it's no, a good draw. No, but I didn't draw. play Rafa, I didn't it's play impossible. Novak. Come on, I didn't play Novak, I didn't play Rafa in the semis. Like, I was lucky to be on the other side of the... Okay, but if we have the same draw, we can say, okay, it's a good draw, but I'm not sure to make final. And do you feel tired sometimes in a slam? Yeah. This year... Yeah, you feel like... Uh, yeah. You start the match and... Some matches when you get nervous, you, I can sometimes cramp, but I think everyone can do it. But it's not because I'm tired, it's because like you're close because to the, the stress, finish. Not because the of stress. Physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's some, impressive. Wait, if, I play, impressive. if I play five sets the day after, I'm quite dead. I can only play like 15 minutes, like just so easy. Because every player, if I go more than four hours, like I'm sore everywhere. Because you never practice more than four hours. So when you do it like the first time in a long time, it's like... Phew. So in the day Even like you here, I'm so here. Minutes? Huh? You just practiced 15 Benno minutes? Ben was getting information, huh? Like yeah, he's, like he's no, getting because cold in no, because I'm to, so sorry. To be honest, uh, I never practice too much. Yeah. But the thing How is much are you averaging I... a day? What? How, what is your average a day? Including, feel like, you know, warm-up, fitness. Before, because now... Uh, yeah, now I understand. Now it doesn't matter. Not too much. But <laughs> tell me, tell me the number. <laughs> So let's say like it's okay during pre-season. No, no, no. Give me the average day. Give but me the season day. Season day, I don't practice. Uh, okay, so then I'm working. Pre-season pre pre is more like. How much pre-season? Pre-season, pre I could do like two times one hour and half. And during the season, let's say, during imagine you lose in Lyon. When I had a coach and everything, like I was like, okay, play, and after I go home, I just want to see my family, and maybe I play once, like. So imagine you play Marseille 250, you lose certain quarters, and then you have five days before Rotterdam or whatever the schedule is. Okay. What would you do in this? I go days? home. Okay. Go next tournament, and after two days after, I practice one hour. Okay, so then I'm the terminator because <laughs> because I've always been telling my coach Benoit is practicing more than me. Yeah, no, but to be honest, yes, I do one hour. Okay. I don't do like 10 minutes, but depends also how I feel. Yeah, the body. And you do intensity or? No. Most of the time I play with my coach and uh, just, but <laughs> no, but that's no. why, but that's why, that's why I feel tired after. Yeah. There is no secret. Like when I play like a slam, I play five sets. Day after I'm die. Yeah, two days after I'm <laughs> so, yeah, I, even more dead. Yes. <laughs> like, no, but it's tough, you know. Even more when I was younger. You, you averaging. Practice like I don't play that much tennis. I mean, like in the preseason, I do only one practice, one like two and a half hours in a row, or sometimes three, like, but two and a half pretty much every day, plus minus. But you do also physically. Yeah, after yeah, I do fitness. You go to the gym, fitness. Yeah. Me, yeah, yeah. I don't do. Oh, okay.
You? Uh, me, averaging in the season, I do one hour of gym and one and a half hour of tennis every day. Yeah, but gym you do? Every, no, I mean, my warm-up, like about 40 minutes that I do before going on court, and then after, the same about 30, 40 minutes, you know, so I do, not like, I'm, don't do li I don't lift, you know, yeah. like, but I do something, yes. So yeah, during yeah, the season, no. I, do, I would do 90 minutes a day and... Tennis. Yeah, tennis 90 minutes or like one hour, 15 minutes, so yeah, 75 to 90 minutes, and I would do one hour of gym. And pre-season, I just probably double up the tennis. And do the same. Yeah, it's, no, but it's, it's good, no? Normal. I would say I'm, I'm not doing more than these guys, but I'm not doing um, less than you. <laughs> no, 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 but yeah. Me, I never practice. But I like to play also soccer. I like to do like yeah, yeah. Uh, I do some oh, other sports. This one I cannot spot. This one I cannot stop. If I start to play something, you will not be able to no. take me out of the yeah. field. <laughs> we start playing this, you know, the football tennis over the net? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Two or three days ago, we have a fitness on court, you know, like with tennis, with the rubber, all this crazy fitness stuff, you know. And we I hate this one. Oh, I love it. Honestly, yeah? I like to practice. This is the problem is I hate competition. Ah, you like to practice? I love to practice. Like I would stay on the court three hours in a row, no problem. But for me, the traveling is kidding me. Packing the so yesterday I was packing the stuff here for five days. I I got so tired. I got so stressed. I need to take this, take that, uh, this, that. Oh, I forgot. Tomorrow morning, ah, flight. So for me, when this I is see you, I said, okay, you don't no, like to practice. No, no, that. three hours. I can do five hours if you want. But the problem is when I go on court to play. I would like to enjoy the same, but I, of course I enjoy a lot more with age. Actually, I start enjoying tennis a lot more. But at the beginning, it was like week in Marseille, week in Montpellier, week in Rotterdam, Dubai, India, Wales for me. And then with this, it's like a snowball, you know, and I'm getting tired. I don't want to come and then I have to go because it's a master's, it's mandatory and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm getting tired of playing, not of practicing. So practicing, I'm telling you, so we came to do this fitness tennis. We warmed up, one hour, we said, okay, let's do a little football tennis over the net before the practice. Two hours. Two hours in a row. We stopped because I said, guys, what time is it? <laughs> and my fitness chair looked at the watch, he's like, 6.30. And we started at 4, like 15. <laughs> and I said, okay, should we go home? They said, no, 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 Alex, you have to do now. And then I did another one and a half hour of... of but you enjoyed because yeah, it was it, practice. And no, it's like, because I have, and also I love off season because I have no pressure. I have only pressure on my body. So I have only pressure on my body in terms of physical, you know, physical workout that I do. But I don't have any pressure of that I have to play next day. You know, for me, it's always a problem because you yeah, practice, yeah. you're getting tired. I was not thinking about yeah, this, yeah. about you're you. You're getting tired of practicing, you know, like because your muscles are loaded or whatever, and then you go and play. So and you are more like a practice player than a match it. player? No. I like to play matches when I'm comfortable. Like that's why I start picking the tournaments, you know, more carefully than before. Because let's say if I don't want to fly somewhere, I'd rather stay home, practice, and then go to play what I like. So, for example, I love clay court swing. It's my favorite part. Clay court and grass is my favorite part because it's close. I drive. <laughs> but why you tank the match every time? I don't tank. <laughs> I don't tank. It's just tough. I don't tank. It's just tough. Because, yeah, because I, it's in Europe. You mean? Yeah, I love it because I take the car, I drive to Rome. I come back, I drive to Munich, I come back, I drive to Geneva, yeah. I drive from Geneva to Paris by car, I love it. So you like to drive? I love it. <laughs> we went to vacation by car, everything I do by car. Even like this year when I was losing everything. You were enjoying? We, we were sitting in, uh, in one, after one, one of the practices, I was practicing uh, on clay before I think Rome, and we were sitting with my team and I'm like, guys, it's the first time in a very long time when I feel that I'm, you know, that little kid when I was 15 years old that I just practice for fun. Okay. So, and I'm sitting and I'm enjoying it. We do two, two, and two hours or three hours on clay, you know, doing some, you know, sliding. But I enjoy. But the problem is when I step on the court and you have Zapata Merales on the other side shouting to your face, this is what I hate. Yeah, you don't this enjoy. is, this is, I'm like, come on, guys, relax. What are we playing for here? Check the fact sheet. <laughs> Check the fact sheet. It's, it's not a big deal, you know, you, you're going to lose second round probably or third. <laughs> Count, cal make a milk. Check game. the fact sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> other. <laughs> no, Zapata, but check the fact sheet. <laughs> I don't actually. What does it mean? Like? Actually, I never played Zapata, but I'm just mentioning the, the players, you know, that <laughs> fighting. Yeah. Oh no, check the fact sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Zapata, go and play your zone. Check the fact sheet. <laughs> what? I don't enjoy. <laughs> Next time I see Zapata, check the fact sheet, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Why you want to check the budget? <laughs> because to see what you're playing for. <laughs> you play for money, points. But there is no money until quarterfinals. Oh, no money. But where? Uh, you check the fact sheet. <laughs> Yes, my, my glasses are... <laughs> but maybe, maybe you can make quarterfinal. <laughs> <laughs> so we check the fact sheet, a quarter is good. <laughs> yeah, but if you check the fact sheet of 250, <laughs> what, what did you see there? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Imagine I check the quality for fact sheet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, when you play Challenger, you have to check the fact sheet. Oh, I don't check, I prefer not check. <laughs> I oh prefer god. not see what I'm Actually, win. I was not making a big joke, but it's... <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. I check the fact sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, that, this is what I'm try trying to say, oh, you know. Yes. You, I check the fact sheet yes. before and I say, yeah. come on, there is, there is, no, <laughs> there is no. no interest until semis or final. Yeah, but and then in the first round, you're you gonna find... know what you're gonna do. But even if you win, sometimes there is no interest. Sometimes. No, there are some tournaments. During COVID, no. But now, yes. If Alcaraz lost before the final and I made the final, I would also be number one. And who he had? He had match, he said match points against Sinner in the quarterfinal. So if he lost this match and I make the final, I would be number one. But if he would lose the match, there is no, they, you, it would be tough as well for you. I know, you I would rather yeah. win the slam and do it at once, you know, like yeah. to be number one and not win the slam is, feel, would feel like, I wouldn't know, but would feel a little strange, I think. So I'm happy that it was the same for both. We were both playing for it, world number one and the first slam in a way. So you were happy about this or sad because you won? I wouldn't like to be number one without winning a slam. I think those kind of... Uh, let's put it this way, I would rather have a slam and not be number one than to be number one and not have a slam, if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, but for me it's too far, but... No, no, but like... I can understand what you mean. Yeah. And what's your goal after, if you are number one? You win so a slam. So for sure to win a slam? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you, if you don't win a slam or... Have you ever thought about how you're going to end your career? I thought about age. No, like in At terms of like what you would like to do and how you would like it to be. Have you ever thought about well, this? Well, we don't have a tournament in Norway, so it's yeah. like... I no, but maybe there's a tournament you love the most and you're like, you know, or you get the most support. I haven't thought about that yet. I just thought about the age, pretty it's much. so young, yeah. I thought about this when I was 20. Yes? How I wanted to finish. Because I think the great... So you have to have a great but entry... But you want to think about how you finish? You no, still no, have a lot no, of things no, to but do. but it gives me joy. Don't get me wrong, like it gives me that because if I will finish the way I want to finish, I will not share it. Oh, cameras for sure. It means I had a great career. So when I think about the retirement, I think about this with joy and the peace. So because I think you must finish with peace. Regardless of your ranking, regardless of any whatever you want, I think you must finish with peace. And the, the feels that I have thinking if this scenario in my head would become a reality, it means I'm in peace. It means I'm just in peace and I'm not, I don't need anything else from tennis. So I would take everything from tennis I would give everything I could to tennis and then I would finish with peace. Not coming back uh, after one month or three months or take a wild card somewhere, you know, but just finish it with peace. So that's why I had these thoughts and I had these thoughts many, I had a lot of times. And we discussed it also with my team. Me, yeah, I don't think about yeah, this. Because for me, for me, I want to finish once and for all and I want to finish with peace. Not because I can't play, not because I don't like to play anymore, but with, you know, with, when you, sometimes, you know, you do something not in tennis, of course, I have you know, other things I like to do. And sometimes you feel like, okay, that's it. It's finished. Yeah, but you have time to think about it. Yeah, so, but uh, that's why I'm saying I'm thinking about this because it gives me joy. It gives if me it gives you peace. Joy, okay. Peace, like, you know, inner peace that, you know, I, it's going to be good, hopefully. And if you stop now? No. No, but if you stop now, imagine... No, I will not stop. be in peace. No, I will not imagine, be in peace. Yeah. I will not be in peace. What if, you, what are you going to think you could do better? I just want to dedicate more time to it because that was no, but let's say you get injured now and you can never play yes. again i would i would be i would be sad but at the end if i look back i would still be happy because i achieved i proved everything to myself so when i proved everything to myself and i realized that that i reached everything i ever wanted i always wanted you know because in 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 russia when i grew up we had the sentence you know we, i don't know how to translate it actually it's to play tennis. So to play tennis, to play tennis was meaning to go up in the ranking, you know, like to go top 100. So, yes. and that was the only thing. I never thought about top 20 or number one. And even I actually... You never thought about it? No, I never, maybe 
I was telling this to my mom, but it, like I don't even remember that. But I was looking at my interviews when I was 12, 11. You know, I was in, in different academies. I was in Juan Carlos. I was in American Academy, and all my interviews was like, Alex, what do you want? And I said, Well, I like to play. You know, I would like to play tennis. You know, in this, in the, in the Russian way, and I would explain, it, but in English I cannot. And so on. When I realized that I'm, I'm a player. You know, I achieved what I always wanted. Then I realized that I can enjoy, and then the results came up. So then I reached my best ranking. I won the, the tournaments, because yeah. But maybe your best ranking could be better. Could be. Uh, it may be in the future. Yeah, in the future. And hopefully it will be in the Thank future. You. And hopefully it's mine. I'm alone with the vegetables. Yeah. Sure. But still, you know, the thing is, like for me, it was important to realize that I really enjoy, and if something happens, like Asper mentioned. I would probably still be uh, in peace. No, thank you. Not yeah. probably, I will be in peace, but of course I don't want that because I still want to dedicate more time to it. Do you have something you want to do after your tennis career or not? We have so many things, Kasper, yes, yeah, we can discuss this forever. Really? Oh, I have so many side things I do during the, during the tennis now. Like what? I don't want to share it, I mean we can talk after, I have a lot of things. I, I have in tennis, outside of tennis. Like, I want to have the academy, I want to build an academy. I want ah, to so you want to stay in tennis? I want to be part of it. I want to give tennis. I don't want to stay in tennis. I That's want to good. give tennis to people. Bon appétit. Yeah, bon appétit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so I want, to, I want to give tennis. Okay. But the most important for me is to be in peace with myself. What about your son? You think he will play? If he, has a, he has a privilege to choose, which I did not have. So he can choose if he wants to do it or not. With me, it was not the case. Because, well, uh, I came up with the family. My father told me, you have to play, you can play. And I said, OK, I want to play. <laughs> I was three or four years old. Did you do other sports he, or no? Uh, yeah, my godfather is a basketball coach. So I did a little bit of basketball, but I never really liked it. I fell in love with tennis after, well, you know, back then in 97, uh, 2000, it was like this, your, your, your father told you to play, you play. Yeah. There's not much to do. So I was playing and then I enjoyed it and then I really loved it because I, as I mentioned before, I like to practice. So I like to stay on the court. Even now I can stay three, four hours. But now, you know, you have to dedicate yourself to other things, you know, because you're a professional, you got a, re you got a recovery, you got to do this, you got to do that. And also I have a family. You're, you're a dad. Yeah. Which gives you, you know, extra time, <laughs> takes, takes time from your sport. I don't know, but I think. What about you, Benoit? When, how did you start playing? My brother was playing. He's four Where did you grow up? Marseille? Um, Avignon. Geneva. Close to Marseille. Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, my brother was playing. My dad was like a um, teacher of tennis for a little club. Okay. So he's only 30 players. Okay. And uh, I start like this. I was playing soccer also. Okay. I like much more soccer yeah. than tennis. I love tennis, eh, but soccer is my sport. And that's why I start and I continue. I was not bad. That's okay. Let's continue. And you? Your family is playing, no? My father played. Uh, yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He was good, no? Of course. Yeah. And you wanted to be better than him? What was your motivation? Because for me, as a father, we always talk with my wife, because he, he's, he's living a different life, you know, than I used to live. Yeah. And what, was, what will be his motivation? So uh, that's why I'm asking you. Do you have, was your motivation to be better than your father one day? Yeah, in a way. Yeah. Well, to beat him or to beat him in the ranking or whatever. Yeah. His ranking was 39 at the highest. Mm -hmm. Best in Norway. Yeah. So basically two root family, two. Yeah. The best, huh? But the journalist in Norway would ask me since I was 10 years old, like, when are you going to beat your father? Uh, yes. Because it was kind of well, little bit too much pressure or motivation? Both, because I tried to tell them, you know, when I was young, I didn't understand, you know, what everything was about, but when I was got older, I said, well, first of all, there's no guarantee I will beat him, huh? so yes. just calm down. I mean, it's not Even like... Even in 50, it's a good... Yeah, yeah. It's, this is not a team. I don't sign a contract and I play for the next five years. You know, it's you have to work your way up. So even if I don't and I can live off tennis, I will have a good career. But the goal is to do it as soon as possible, of course. And then when I finally beat him, it was like, okay, and then they stopped asking. But then, of course, how was the feeling to beat him? They asked me that. I <laughs> said, come on. And what about was your dad? Was your father angry? And wh well, yes, what about your dad? No, he was happy. I mean, he's my coach, so for him it's also an achievement, you know, to mm -hmm. have a...
So for he's us, better coach than player. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's a better coach than player. <laughs> For me, it's important to have this connection you between... You, it's, it's also a friend. Yes, for me, because it's important to have the connection, because for me, coach is the one you spend the most time with. I'm spending my, my most time with my coach than with my family, because I'm on the tournaments away sometimes. So for me, if I don't have this emotional connection, if the coach does not accept me fully, because he has to know me, he has to know everything about this. To this. understand you also on court. Yes, no, like for me, yeah, on court, of course, but for me on court is easy. The problem is off the court. Because on court, what you easy. do... Easy. <laughs> easy, easy. I just break rackets. That's the only thing I do. <laughs> and honestly. talk a little bit. A little bit checking, you know, yes. fuck cheats here and there. <laughs> Zapata a little bit. <laughs> but, but, I mean, how many times have we mentioned his last No, 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 but Zapata, yeah. The, the, the thing is, I have never played him. Yes, me I never too. played Pedro Cacci, no? You have a couple of tough uh, battles huh? coming. <laughs> yes. I hope I'm going to face them. I'm going to check the draw. I like, <laughs> go, hope I'm going to face them on grass. Yes. <laughs> this this I'm going to take. No, but yeah. coach, yes. You're going to play Zapata first round Adelaide. Yeah, and catch in first, first round Australia. Two lose in the first round. And then you're going to go to the, <laughs> to the calendar to see which challengers you have to play. Segovia we go, right? Segovia. You go to Segovia. Let's go together. Yeah. Sure. No, I'm staying away from this. I'm, I'm Only double. Sure. Me, I have a problem with my coach most of the time when, when I have a girlfriend. Why? If I would have a girlfriend, I would have problems with all my family. It's more easy, yeah. <laughs> me, it's more easy when I'm single to have a coach and to be like more focused. And what's the problem between when Because you... the thing is, when I have a girlfriend, I'm more focused on my girlfriend than on tennis. <laughs> so no, it's tough with my coach also. No, but I stop with my coach most of the time when I was with as a girlfriend. But I know it's but different it, for you. It's you, an, it's you, are, you have a wife and... Yeah. It's an interesting yes. way, huh? Because when I have girlfriend, like I feel, most of the players when they are like married or something, they are more focused on the tennis. Yes, it happened to me. Yes, for but example. for me it's different. I feel more focused with my girlfriend, and I want to give everything to my girlfriend. Like I do the practice and thinking about what we're gonna do after and where we're gonna go. And you made this famous interview in 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 in, uh, in United Cup about the girls in Australia. In Australia, yeah, very hot. <laughs> he was telling this on the entire stadium. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I say what I think. You're also honest guy, Benoit. I think so, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Moment, I think I'm honest on even in the press and everything. Not every time good for me. You remember we played in Roland Garros or no? Yes. 2021. Good, good crowd with the corner. Good, good match. number one. No, Simon Mathieu. Simon Mathieu. Four set, no? <coughs> yeah, it was during COVID. Was tough. 2021, tough yeah. match. No, COVID was the year before COVID. The year after la, COVID. La, 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 la. Uh, okay. I played Gael yeah. and Susan Lenglet. <laughs> I had this in my dream huh? for three uh, three weeks after <laughs> after playing this match. It was good memories for me. <laughs> no, but the crowd and uh, the yeah, match was also was a good match. Yeah, it was a good match. I played Gael and Susan Lenglet. <laughs> good. That year? Mm, I think yes. You know the song? Yeah, that's good. I remember. I still remember. It's I was playing against two French guys in this in doubles final. I know all these yeah. songs. And in 2022, I played uh, Songa, last match of his career. Ah, yes, was when he retired. <coughs> difficult. You, uh, you knew it before? Yes. Yeah. I guess everyone. Okay, but maybe you don't think about this, you don't check. And no, no, this one you think about. You check the fact sheet and you see that it's going to be the last tournament. <laughs> Songa retirement. <laughs> No, but first one. Yeah, in Chatrier. Tough four sets, like six. Seven. And he was playing good, no? Yeah, was was giving everything. And then in the last game, in the fourth set, he something happened in the shoulder. Ah, like yes, he couldn't serve the last tiebreak. Luckily for me, because hey, it I was in a tiebreak of the first set. Was two one in the um, for you for you yeah. sets, but tough sets like six seven, six four, seven six, something like this, like really close. And then I think it was 5 all or 5-6, five, 6-5 six, six, five for him. I think maybe he served for the fourth set. And then first serve, like, something happened with the serve, so he couldn't serve after. And then I won the next 10 points because he couldn't... Yeah, he couldn't play. No, 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 he, he lost all power. So it was a tough ending. And the crowd was crazy because I think he just broke me and was going to serve for the fourth set. Okay. And then the first point or something in the in that game was like something with the serve and then ah, pain. I think with the pressure it was like yeah. uh, a little bit tight. And yeah, it was. He was a he was a player you were watching on yes, TV. Yes, a lot. It was sad. I was sad when it was finished because like 
you heard the crowd was crazy for him, and he was crying, and you, I watched him like all my childhood on TV, so it was like quite emotional. Did you stay on court? Yes, I had to speak with Fabrice Santoro. Was there? Who's gonna play? But then after I left, match. and then a lot of guys came. I think you probably came, I came and yes. Gael and Richard. Came. Everyone yeah, we came. French player. We came on court. Yeah, yeah. And the father. And, uh, it was good. We were like uh, on the screen on the yeah, Chatrier, yeah. like a big movie. And I was thinking, who's gonna play Rafa? The last match. On his last match. It's gonna be tough, huh? if if you know. But already, when will be his last, last match? I don't know. Anytime soon, huh? or not? Depends how this year goes. Yeah, but any, every, I mean, next two, three years for sure, all of them. I, I think he can like, can yeah, continue. Of course he can, but the thing is, who's gonna? Be, I mean, I'm talking about the legends of the game and who's gonna be their last opponent. Yeah. I hope it will be like a good opponent. He can speak French or so, uh, Alex. Un peu. Show us what you're gonna say. Show us. No, I'm not gonna say what you <laughs> teach me. Eh? <laughs> here they here they like it. I go I go to uh, Bercy next year. They find me three million. <laughs> they took me fine. Like, all right, guys. Okay. So, guys, thank you. Thank you for dinner. Thanks for dinner. It was awesome. nice to talk to you. <laughs> and to you. <laughs> you too. No, honestly, yes. No, no, it was nice actually. Yeah, I guess. It's fun sometimes. You never do. I never have dinner with other players usually. You never do it. Never, but you, you guys are good. You're French. French. You're French, yes. One guy got COVID, all the French guys, guys got COVID. Remember that? <laughs> I was the only one at the beginning. Sasha, thanks, my friend. Thank you, Benoit. Things falling. Thank you, guys. Guys, oh, how are you? Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, hi. Nice for this beautiful dinner, huh? That's good, good, no? Yeah, you guys good. You guys good. <laughs>